Okay, today we're going to look at the Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter, number XG7317. And you can get this at Walmart for $8.97. It's rated for 20,000 miles. So let's get started. It's just a network. You gotta do the silicone, the nice pipe. Get your inner ear, filtration. Okay, let's start by looking at the box. Dual layered synthetic media provides over 99% dirt trapping efficiency. And if we look down here, we'll see for particles greater than 20 microns. Look at the front of the box. 20,000 mile protection, optimized for synthetic oil, perfect seal gasket, superior dirt holding capacity. Now nowhere on here does it say metal screen backing like it used to say. And I'll put a little picture up here of the old style box. And I want to thank a viewer, Ryan Chu, for pointing this out for me. Thanks, Ryan. Alright, let's open her up. See what she looks like. Date code. A11. And it's smudged there, so I don't know what that is. 41. This is printed. And it says made in USA. It's got a nice sure grip here. This is good for taking it off, putting it on. She has 10 inlet holes with a silicone anti drain back valve, bypass valve down below. And I see a metal core with holes. And the threads eh, look about average amount of threads. And a nitro rubber o ring gasket, which comes off real easy. Yeah, it comes off easy. It's about a medium sized filter. Well, I say we open this baby up and see what she looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's get her weight. 220 grams. And how about the base plate? 81 grams. Let's take a look at the base plate. It's got a lot of holes to get a good oil flow. It doesn't have a lot of threads, but it, I guess it'll do. Um, it's a pretty good base plate. It's okay. Okay, any drain back valve, silicone. These are nice. Cover up all these holes. Okay, the filter media. Oh, and look at this bypass valve. This is set for 13 PSI. Yeah, let's get the weight on this thing. 9 grams. And the filter media weighs 78 grams. And it counted 48 pleats. Metal crimp seam and metal end caps. Pretty clean too. It's just a little excess glue here. But I can safely say that this has no metal backing. They took out the screen, folks. Kind of disappointed in Fram for doing that. That's what made these ultras, uh, I think, a little superior oil filter, you know. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I hope they, you know, they're probably all going to do that. Yeah, I have a feeling they're all going to change. But I'll cut it open. We'll see what's going on in there. But this has a, you know, the micron rating is 99% at 20 microns. And it's a synthetic fiber media. Can. Let's get some, uh, okay, the can weighs 46 grams. Get some measurements. Point 
0.66 millimeters. That's pretty good. It's you know usually about four to five is average, so it's it's above average. And I could feel it too when I was opening it. It's a nice can. Get the width. Filter media. One point eight eight inches. Let's get it this way. Two point four three inches, and the overall is two point five one inches. Yep, kind of sad. Media is going to be uh, not as good without the screen backing, if you ask me. All right, let's cut this baby open and uh, stretch it out and see how long she is. Okay, here she is stretched out. And she's 54 inches long. Zoomed out. Okay, and here she's at the seam. And I took a little sample here to measure. Get the thickness. Point seven four, point seven three millimeters. It's close to average. It's usually around point eight. Close up. And without the filter. Uh, being backed with a metal screen, see she just tears. No screen backing. Fram went backwards on that one. Let's look at the rest of the filter. Well, we got the stamp leaf spring. This one doesn't look too bad. It's fairly large. Looks pretty good. Can's fine. It's a little. A little thicker than average and the metal cores that's nice with the holes in it that's nice silicone any drain back valve that's always good and the base plate's got plenty of holes that's nice good oil flow so I think they went backwards on the metal screen backing you know if you see one of these let me zoom this out a little bit Get this out. You know, if you see a box like this and it doesn't have metal metal screen on here, then um, you know it's one of these. It's one of the new ones. And I'll put another picture of it up here in the corner. So we get my finger up there. Yeah, right up here. I'll put another picture of it. What it's supposed to look like, or what the old ones look like, I should say. But you know. They took the screen out. They still got the same price. They had to knock the price down now. They should put it down to $5 instead of $9. To me, the metal screen is what set them apart from the other frames and uh, the other line, line of frame filters. So they definitely went backwards on this one. What do you guys think? Please post your comments down below. I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video... Please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.